Hey guys, S. Dodler here. This is part two in my YouTube API how to video series. Let me emphasize yet again that this video will not show you how to code only the parts you need from the YouTube API to access the live chat for your stream and post to it from your account. First off, I'm going to answer a few questions from the last video. A lot of people were still confused by what exactly this will let you do. If you know how to script, program, or code, it will let you create a bot or program that runs on your computer at the same time as you're streaming and automatically gets the data from the YouTube servers. Once you have your sub counts, titles, and thumbnails, you should be able to save them to .txt files and .jpg files to then add into OBS. People have also asked how I get the animated border or background for my live sub count board. Um, it's a video file that I created from scratch myself in Adobe After Effects and then use the video source option in OBS to add it in. Now to what everyone's been waiting for. To read your live chat text, what you first need to do is find the live chat ID for your stream. The only way I've found to do this is to be live streaming on YouTube and then through an authorized request using the live broadcast section of the API. Since your live chat ID doesn't seem to ever change, even if you go offline and then start a new stream, it's probably fine to just use the API website to get it using the snippet part and the ID parameter. The ID parameter is just the end part of your watch URL for your current live stream. Once you have your chat ID, reading the chat is easy enough. You want to use the live chat messages section of the API. You should be able to use the snippet part while applying your live chat and appy key as parameters. It should look something like this. You'll also want to get the page token, as if we take this and add ampersand page token equals and then the value to our next call, it will give us the next page of messages, i.e. everything new since what we read last. As with the other web requests in the past, it will return a JSON file. Um, all the text messages from the chat will be under the items object. Uh, what you want to look for is the message text under the text message details uh, brackets. And then obviously just get your program to recognize different commands by that text. Now for the tricky bit. This is where I struggled for a while. If you want to chat from your account to the live chat, you will need to do an OAuth request, as in allow your program or bot to post on your behalf. This is exactly what things like Nightbot are doing when they ask you to click sign in and then allow you allow access um, to one of your YouTube accounts. There is plenty of documentation on the Google site on how to do an OAuth request, so I won't go into too much detail, but it requires you to do a web post request. Once you have an access token, you can use the refresh token from the process to keep refreshing that token and reusing the new credentials to do an authorized request. Once you have your refresh token and access token, you're ready to post a message to the live chat. All you need to do is another post request using the live chat API. The URL for the post request is a little less intuitive than the other APIs. I'll put the details on screen and in the description below. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. I know it gets a little bit tricky when you get here, um, and I'm always happy to help. You'll need to put the access token in the header of the post request. Um, it should look something like authorization, bearer, space, and then your access token. You'll also have to set the content type to application forward slash JSON, as the data you'll need to send will have to be in the JSON form as displayed on screen. Hopefully this has been helpful. I know there's a lot to cover and a lot of it is just in the YouTube API articles, but this should point you in the right direction. Um, hopefully it'll give you an idea of what you need to put together a YouTube chatbot. Thanks guys and see you in the next video.